What's up guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Skylar. A lot of people also call me Sky. And I suffer with cystic acne in case you guys didn't already know. Um, I have a few videos up about my journey with it, products I've tried, um, stuff that works for me, stuff that doesn't, so on and so forth. But today we are just going to be talking about my everyday makeup routine um, that I use to cover my scarring. But first, before we get started with this video, I did want to talk to you guys about this pillowcase. A lot of people don't think about it, but your pillowcase, it collects bacteria and then it goes on your face. And if you're sleeping on that every single night, uh-uh. So really quick, this brand actually sent me this pillowcase and no, this is technically not sponsored. They did send it to me, but it is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid if you guys, you know, go buy a pillowcase or anything like that. I just wanted to educate you guys on it because I genuinely, like I'm in love with this pillow. So basically this pillowcase, it's coated in like this silver um, that basically counteracts with the, the bacteria of acne the acne causing bacteria and it counteracts with this so it basically says like hey, get out like you can't stay here like get off go on somewhere and it basically stops your pillowcase from collecting a bunch of bacteria that is like acne causing like stuff that like makes you flare up and makes you break out late at night and a little fun fact is um i read that they also use this same like technology in astronaut spacesuits like that's just dope like what I believe it comes in like multiple colors, but the color I got is just like a white pillow. Like it literally just looks like a regular pillowcase. Like, I don't know, but I've been using this thing for two weeks. I'm really sick, by the way. I say that later in this video, but I'm really sick. So if I sound nasty, I'm sorry. But I've been using this pillowcase for almost two weeks now. And used to, whenever I would wake up, I would have like five new blemishes. Like it was just like, you know, terrible for me. And it would be like swollen and really red and irritated and just like, oh, it was so bad. My skin would be so oily when I woke up. But now, like it for the first week, my skin was, I guess, kind of like adjusting to it. Like I noticed my face wasn't as oily, but I was still breaking out just a little bit. But now, like my acne is like... Anyways, that is enough about that pillowcase. I will have a link down below if you guys are interested. Um, they do have like a whole page of like research and like just all kinds of faqs and just like all the information you, you need basically but anyways that is enough about that pillow so let's get right into the video what's up guys so right now i am super sick so if i sound really nasally and congested i am um i almost didn't film for you guys this week but i was literally laying in bed and i was just like i have to get ready for work i'm gonna film I, I need to film. I want to film and I miss filming. I missed last week because things got really, really freaking crazy with Christmas and all that stuff going on. So I'm sorry, but I missed a week. But I am back this week with another cystic acne type video. You guys seem to like that. I try to be very informative with it. So I've already washed my face. I'm going to go in with this moisturizer. It actually came in my BoxyCharm. This is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. I actually really like this stuff. It's like, I don't know, it just like soaks into my skin so nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is go in with my primer. So, since I did have cystic acne, I have like not the... I don't know what to call them like the indented like they look like little pores so you can I've been going in with any like pore filling primer this is what I've been using recently this is the Strivectin it's actually for wrinkles but it's very blurring so I love this stuff um but I usually use the NYX one but I don't have any more of that one because I ran through it now I'm going in with the milk um hydro grip primer now is a very very important step okay if you have acne and you have redness on your face like i do this step is crucial because it is going to help hide your acne under your foundation and that step is color corrector this is my favorite um palette to use if i don't know if you can even tell but i've like hit pan on this one i'm starting to on the pinks but um anyways this is one of my favorite favorite color correctors i don't i've never really used many color correctors i think i've used like the stila one before 
but this one is like six bucks I think I'm probably lying I'm not sh let me see how much this is because I understand we're on a budget honey the Stila palette is $45 this palette is $12 $45 compared to $12 and I've had this thing for so long. I love it so much But basically all I do I used to go in with a brush and would do it But I feel like it's way better if you just like put it with your finger and then you just tap it everywhere So I just rub my finger in it and then I put it first I start it where like the most like pigment is so like if you look I have a lot of pigment right here and down here and then there's a little bit like down here so that's where I'm going to start it and then I just do like this because I have redness all over my cheeks um, so I pretty much need it like in more than just that little bitty area and you don't need a lot like don't cake it on like you don't want to be looking like Shrek and then try to put on foundation because then it's just going to mix together. All you need is like the thinnest little layer and then you're good to go. And basically, if you don't know what, col what a color corrector is, it basically just neutralizes um, the color. So if you look on a color wheel, I'll try to insert one right here. If you have a color wheel, you're going to try to go, like if green is up here, you want to go directly across it. And that's the color that's going to cancel it out. And it basically turns to like a neutral color. And that will help like whenever you're putting on your foundation, it'll help to cover up um, any of that redness or the darkness or anything like that. In a second, I'm going to go in with these peach shades, and I'm just going to mix them both, and then I'm going to put them underneath my eyes, um, kind of like a concealer, and that's going to color correct my darkness under my eyes. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, which is another crucial part, this, this step, I haven't always done it, but I have been recently, um, because I do have very oily skin, and I find that it helps to cover the green a little bit better or it helps like to where I can wear less foundation and I learned this from Jackie Ina um she only does it over her primer but I do it over the color corrector as well and all I do is get some powder which I have the airspun powder and I just get the tiniest amount and I just barely put it over my face so now as you can tell the redness on my face is like kind of like dumbed down a little bit is that a thing dumbed down it, it's just not as red okay my face is not as red anymore so now it is prepped and ready for foundation recently i don't know why i've always done my eyebrows first but recently i've been doing it after because i feel like my well it's i don't know like i still like to do my eyebrows beforehand sometimes but sometimes for like a, an everyday look i like to do it after because i'll just put brow gel in it and then barely like fill it in rather than like making a brow because like i have eyebrows you guys can see i have eyebrows okay so i have two of my favorite um drugstore foundations my first favorite is the l'oreal infallible yes i know this is too dark for me i mix it with this one because I don't know why I have these two shades, but I have them. So I mix these two together, um, and I use these. Or I really like the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that one. I use the matte one because um, I do have oily skin, so I like to use that one. But my recent favorite has been these. Um, I really like the same line of this of their concealer. Their concealer is really really good It's kind of a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, but yeah, that's normally what I would use but I ran out of it So recently I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way and I actually like this one because it has coconut water in it I used to not be able to use it, but I don't use it in my t-zone anymore I only use it under my eyes because like I said earlier. I do have dry under eyes So yeah, I will say foundation does not cover texture at all like that's just a thing it's always going to be a thing it's impossible to cover texture so make sure that you guys are exfoliating and you're moisturizing never neglect moisturizer and never neglect exfoliating use something that has salicylic acid in it because it is a gentle exfoliant salicylic acid helps um like clean out your pores and it helps break everything down inside of your pores um, so it's a very very good one. CeraVe has a face wash. It's like SA Renew or I don't remember what it's called, but it's in like a clear ish container. It's like a little pump and it's like a little clear container. Um, use that or just use something that has salicylic acid in it. 
Also, benzoyl peroxide is good if you have acne because benzoyl peroxide kills bacteria. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my last videos, but I just wanted to like touch on it again because it is, because it is very important and you will see a difference. Um, since I've been using salicylic acid, um, my texture has gone down a lot. My face feels way smoother. Like it's just, it's helped me a lot. Now that foundation is done, you can tell that the redness is covered up. Um, and now, of course, I still have a little bit of texture because I do have acne. Like that's, once again, it's very hard to cover up. But it has improved a lot because of the products I've been using. But anyways, so now all of that is done. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the shade Almond. So... I will tell you guys, less is more, especially whenever you have acne. Don't go ham because it will in, like enhance the texture rather than trying to cover it up. Um, like I used to take concealer and I would go in my T-zone. I no longer do that um, because whenever I did, well for one, it would make me more oily. So if you have oily skin, that's not a good idea. Use like a powder to brighten or something like that. Don't use a concealer. Um, but it... It just cakes it on and throughout the day it's just gonna add more and more texture and then it's just not gonna look good so now I only put it under my eyes now recently I have been going in with the milk um, cream bronzer just because I think it's a really nice color and this actually since it's not a concealer and it's a stick it's a little bit thicker so it doesn't um, make me get oily or anything, but it still adds like a good dimension to my face. Um, this isn't something I've always done and this isn't like anything that has to do with acne. It's just something that I do, you know? Anyways, next I'm going back in with my airspun powder and my Morphe sponge and I'm going to press the powder into my skin. And whenever you do this, it does add a little bit more coverage. And I try to put like the, the most amount of powder right here and the least amount over my acne because if I put too much over my acne or like my acne scarring or anything, it kind of dries it out and then it might start flaking, which is something that's you don't want. You don't want to be talking to someone and then like a piece of your skin hanging off. That's not cute. So I try to put the least amount of powder over my actual acne. Plus, I want to give it room to breathe. Like I don't want to sit here and like I mean I know I'm putting like five products over the top of it but like you know like I'm not trying to suffocate it but right here girl I make the heck out of right here because this is where I get the most oily and I'm like mm -mm, quit it now my lips are looking crusty because they have foundation on them we're gonna ignore that bronzer because we looking like a ghost out here dude i'm like really trying to like get my energy up because your girl has work after this and i'm not feeling it like i almost called in again but then i would have been off four days in a row and honey we need that bag like all 2020 that's all we're doing is getting that munties right Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm going in with the butter bronzer. I obviously hit pan. This is like my fourth one. I love this bronzer. I use it every single day that I do my makeup. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It smells good. It looks good. It's cheap. Can't really go wrong. This works. It works for me for every day. We on a budget. You heard? Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. I was going in with my favorite blush of all time. You guys already know this. If you're not new to my channel and you're an OG, I've been using the Pixie Beach Rose. I'm obsessed with this blush. I don't know why, but it's so good. Okay, now, before I do my eyebrows, because your girl's looking a little scary right now, we're going to go in and cut this and make her pretty sharp. We're going to do our eyebrows. I'm going in with the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil because it's a bomb. This is in the shade Ash Brown. This is my all-time favorite drugstore product. Oh, psych. Before I do that, I'm going to go in with this brow gel by Tarte. This is in the shade Blonde, I think. Taupe, actually. 
Um, just because I don't want to have to fill in my eyebrows quite as much, but I'm still like, you know, you still need to, you still need some color. Okay, this eyebrow is freaking good. What happened to this one? I don't understand. Like, you had just long lost, like, cousins? Are y'all like sixth cousins today? Or like, what's happening? I don't get it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with highlight because I feel like I look really dull and I'm kind of upset about it. Um, today I actually feel like going in with this Flower Beauty um, little palette thing. It just says Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette. And I mix literally all three of them together. And it's so pretty. Like, wow. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? And this little thing is drugstore. Like, okay. I have a little bit of extra time. Normally, I would just put on mascara and be like, ouch here. But I think today I'm actually going to put on some eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with the Smash Bonks. Um eyeliner the heck and I'm just gonna do a quick little wing right quick okay now I'm just gonna put on some lashes and some lipstick and I will be right back all right guys so that concludes today's video of covering up cystic acne this is the after excuse my sniffles I can't I can't help but sniffle okay but this is the after. As you can tell, the redness is gone. There's still texture, like I said earlier in the video. You use salicylic acid to help out with that texture. Um, mine used to be a lot worse, but it got a lot better. But anywho, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are new here and you like my content, subscribe. Okay? Just go down there, click that little button, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.